Are you thinking about relocating here to Seven Hills in Henderson? Well, stay tuned. We're going to run you through the cost of living here in Seven Hills. First thing I want to point out is that Seven Hills is a smaller neighborhood compared to a lot of other communities that we've brought to you here on our YouTube channel. Seven Hills is actually one zip code, 89052, which is adjacent to McDonald Highlands, Anthem, which we just did a video on. So definitely check out our page and go watch that video. And it's also near Inspirata and Henderson Executive Airport. And for all of you Raiders fans, you all know that the practice facility is right next to uh, Henderson Executive. So Seven Hills is a small little tight-knit community. It's pretty convenient to, like, the, like I said, the amenities in Anthem, uh, as well as on St. Rose Parkway, which is one of the main thoroughfares. There's a lot of restaurants on St. Rose, and one of the main businesses that you can find there is Costco. Since Seven Hills is adjacent to Anthem, We've already shot a video, so I'm gonna give you the quick rundown of gas prices, utilities, and groceries. So stay tuned. Starting off our grocery shopping in Vaughn's today, we are looking at bananas for 49 cents a pound. Next up, we have some ground turkey, which was on sale at $3.99, normally $4.99. Cereal, we have $2.99. And holy smokes, look at this cinnamon toast crunch has a churros version. If you want to get a little crazy with your cereal breakfast, we also have wheat bread for $4.99. And for all of you Hawaiians that are out there, we've got some spam light for $3.49. Unfortunately, someone bought all the regular spam today. And we also have a case of water of Dasani, $4.99. Charmin Ultra Soft, which Kadian says is the best toilet paper to buy, $24.99. We have a dozen eggs, regular eggs of $2.19. And if you like the organic style, you can either choose between grass-fed eggs for $2.99 or your free-range eggs for $5.99. A gallon of milk is $3.99 and chicken breasts $2.00 and 99 cents per pound. This brings our grand total from today's shopping trip, $66.08. So we just wrapped up our quick shopping excursion in Vons uh, here in Anthem. Quick $66 worth of groceries. Um, again, you know, that was probably shopping for one person. Um, you know, if you have a couple of kids or a bigger family, you know, you might need to multiply that by two or three. But overall, pretty uh, cheap shopping experience, I would say. And now we're off to check out some gas prices here in Anthem. today's gas expenses we are looking at at 76 prices uh, the 87 grade is two dollars and 67 cents a gallon 89 grade is two dollars and 82 cents and 91 premium grade is two dollars and 97 cents as far as utility bills here in anthem they're about four percent higher than the national average so comparatively speaking very competitive um, let's run through some of the bills that I've gotten from a buddy of mine that lives here in Anthem. So we're gonna run through some utility bills right now. First up, we have Cox Cable. Cox is one of the main providers for internet and cable. So my buddy who lives in Anthem, his last Cox Cable bill was about 100 bucks a month. Next up, we have NV Energy. 
that bill was about $250. The trash bill that he had was about $46, but that gets paid every quarter. Our gas provider is Southwest Gas, and that bill came out to about $20. And the water bill, $34. And depending on your cable provider, me personally, I use YouTube TV, that runs about 60 bucks a month. And if you're using DirecTV, I think when I had my DirecTV bill, I was paying about $100 to $150 a month for cable. As you're making your move here to Seven Hills, are you gonna rent or are you gonna buy? We'll cover both of these options for you so you have a good idea of what your costs would look like as you make your moves here. According to realtor.com, there are about 25 rentals ranging anywhere from $789 a month all the way up to $10,000 a month. So depending on your lifestyle, depending on if you have a family, do you not have a family, those are all the things that you need to consider when looking at a rental. And actually, there's an apartment complex behind us, if you take a look, that you also have some luxury apartments that you can rent. Those one bedrooms usually run anywhere from 800 to 1,000 a month. Obviously, if you're looking at a one bed, a two bedroom or a three bedroom, those could actually run up to maybe 15 to $1,800 a month, depending on the amenities of the facility, depending on the location, where in uh, Seven Hills you're looking to live. So definitely do your homework, do your research. Um, so that way you can stay within your budget when you consider your future rent here in Seven Hills. Now, if you're thinking of purchasing and you know you can put some roots down here in Seven Hills, just to give you a quick rundown, again, based off of realtor.com, the median home price is about 480,000, which breaks down to about $208 a square foot. There are about 117 homes listed for sale, ranging anywhere from 155,000 all the way up to 6.4 million. So if you've got the budget, they've got the houses here for you. Also, according to Realtor.com, the median price in Seven Hills is about 85% higher than most Nevada neighborhoods. So again, a little more bang for your buck when you're living here in Seven Hills because of the community, because of the amenities. Um, one of the main things being safety. Depending on what your budget is, you definitely want to do your homework ahead of time and make sure you get pre-approved and talk to a lender like us to help you with your home financing. So for all of you first time home buyers, don't sweat it. You don't have to put down a massive down payment. A lot of people feel that you have to come in with 20% to purchase a home. Here in Nevada, we actually have a down payment assistance program that can cover up to 5% with a maximum of $20,000 for your down payment. The program is very easy to qualify for. You just have to have a 640 credit score and you have to make less than $98,500 a year. But like we had mentioned, the median home price here in Seven Hills is about $480,000. So it's gonna be a little higher for that assistance program, so you may not be able to use that. But obviously, if you do find a home $400,000 or less, you could certainly fit in that criteria, and you might be able to get your entire down payment covered to become a homeowner here in Nevada. However, if you do look at the higher price range, not to sweat it, you can still put down maybe five to 10%, depending on the purchase price of the home, to be able to purchase your primary residence. Another thing to keep in mind is that the conforming loan limit is about 454,000 here in Nevada. And why is that important? That's important because if you go a dollar over that amount, you are now in what's called jumbo financing. So jumbo financing is an entire it's an entire different beast when it comes to mortgage financing. So definitely get with your lender ahead of time if you're thinking of purchasing when you make your move here because you're definitely gonna to need to get pre-approved and you wanna make sure that you cross your T's and dot your I's, especially when it comes to jumbo financing because every investor that offers this type of financing has little nuances that they require from their borrower. Um, so you definitely wanna make sure that you do meet the criteria so you can qualify to purchase your home. And also, when you're thinking about making your move and you do get pre-approved, don't worry. Your pre-approval letter is normally good for three to four months. So once you get approved with your lender, you do have some time to shop and make your decision as to which home you'd like to purchase. A lot of people feel that once they get pre-approved, there's a deadline of a week or two or sometimes even 30 days that they have to identify a property. But typically, it's about three to four months before the application has to be updated. So that way you can plan ahead, get your ducks in a row, make sure that you have everything ready to go 
So that way you can present your pre-approval letter to your, to your real estate agent to help you with your search because you will need that to start looking at homes and to make an offer. We covered everything from groceries, utilities, housing prices, rental prices. So you have everything that you could possibly think of when it comes to living in Seven Hills. As always, I appreciate the love. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified every time we come out with more videos, more content, all about living here in Las Vegas. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.